today we will discuss a high yield topic namely parolis disease this delt as a separate entity here let on and why it is delt as a separate entity and why it is a high yield topic the first point i want you to remember here is that it is an autosomal recessive pattern of inheritance disorder the second thing i want you to remember is that it is an it is basically an embryological malformation so what you mean by that so if your portal tract or biliary tract is a normally developing then this is your intrahepatic cross section of your intrahepatic portal or bile duct this picture whereas this picture depicts you the malformation of your portal plate your portal plate has to develop uh, like this whereas what happens in cases of keroli's disease is that there is an malformation in the portal then the developing portal plate uh, leading to multiple intrahepatic portions of your bile duct or biliary duct or the portal duct dilatation so what it is basically it is an multiple intrahepatic biliary radical duct dilatation the second point is that on ct if you see basically due to the portal radical dilatation you will get an sign called as central dot sign so if we consider this is your liver and there is multiple intrahepatic biliary dilatations so in the center this dot in the center represents your portal radical which is on your ct called as central dot sign okay another thing i want to stress here is that sometimes this intrahepatic biliary duct dilatation which is called as a carolis disease may be associated with fibrosis when this intrahepatic biliary dilatation is associated together with fibrosis the term is called as grumbach's disease grumbach's disease the thing i told that it has to be dealt as a separate entity because it was it is classified under todani's type 5 todani's type 5 cholidocal cyst but if you see the underlying pathology the underlying pathology in case of cholidocal cyst is either there is a pancreatico biliary duct junction anomaly or a oligoganglionosis whereas whereas if you see in carolis disease what we have seen there is a embryological malformation that is your portal plate malformation so carolis disease is more appropriate to be dealt as a separate entity rather than your rather than from your cholidocal cyst but for your your in your mcq the mass what is type 5 cholidocal cyst then you must answer it is a carolis disease so moving on i this in this is your ct showing your central dot sign what the central dot corresponds to it's your portal radical or your biliary radical this is your doppler study showing the flow in your portal vein so next i want to say so this is a distinct entity when you are comparing with your cholidocal cyst so it has some specific complications some specific complications apart from your 
apart from your cholidocal cyst what are these one is that it can form your intrahepatic bile duct stones which is termed as hepatolithiasis or it can form an intrahepatic abscesses in this i want to emphasize that the abscesses are more common on your left side rather than your right side the reason is being postulated is that one is that the left side ductal system takes a longer duration to drain i can think it's it's angulation which makes the left side of your portal system or the hepatic system to get a higher incidence of intrahepatic abscesses so this is a picture which shows you hepatolithiasis which is a complication seen in seen in your carolis disease Similarly, you can get your intrahepatic abscesses so moving on to your management first if the disease is localized that is if it is contained to one lobe then there is a possibility of doing lobectomy but what happens is that in most of your cases most of your cases the disease is diffuse or widespread so what is your treatment the definitive treatment or management is liver transplant only liver transplant will be beneficial for your trans for your patients with diffuse spread of your carolis disease so let me revise what are the points in carolis disease that i want you to remember is that it is an autosomal recessive disorder it is basically an embryological malformation and it is to be dealt as a separate entity from your cholidocal cyst but if they ask you in your mcq that type 5 cholidocal cyst what is the name of your type 5 cholidocal cyst then your answer is carolis disease it is basically a portal plate malformation leading to your multiple intrahepatic biliary duct dilatation when this carolis disease is associated or accompanied with fibrosis then the term is called as grumbach's disease on ct you get the central dot sign which corresponds to your portal radical if you do a doppler then you can find the flow on the portal radical then we have dealt with the specific complications of carolis disease apart from these two complication it can also undergo structure formation malignancy and cirrhosis all these complications can also occur in occur in cholidocal cysts remember this these two points i want you to remember specific to your carolis disease moving on to management management if the disease is localized then it is confined to one lobe then you can do or you can have a option of doing lobectomy but in most of the cases the patient land up in a diffuse widespread of their disease then the only beneficial or the only definitive treatment for your patient is liver transplant thank you